What's going on guys, Hook here, back with a updated version of my field carrier landing practice video. Uh, this is intended for Squadron Mates who are currently going through a uh, Harrier uh, lesson plan, FAM as we call it, over the next few weeks. This is going to show uh, my new version of the field carrier landing practice which has an automatic LSO that can be turned on or off. We're going to go ahead and uh, depart here from the FCLP facility. VTOL configuration and I'm gonna go ahead and clear us using the F10 menu to fly directly to the initial point so we're gonna go commence from Marshall aircraft calling in Marshall radar contact expect the case one approach fly 270 to the initial altimeter setting 2992 Weather clear, winds light and variable. Base recovery course 270. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on here like in the helmet just in case things are really loud. Proceed to and report 3 mile initial. Okay, so the 3 mile initial is marked right over there with orange smoke. Our base recovery course uh, like before is 270. So we'll fly the reciprocal just a mile or two past our initial and then we'll reverse our turn and fly 270. We're looking to be at uh, 800 feet here at the initial point and we'll fly that to the break. So there's the initial point. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the F-10 menu and turn on our automatic LSO, meaning you don't have to mess with the F-10 menu anymore. For uh, those viewers who are interested, I'll put up a download of this mission and eventually I'll be making a ship version as well here. Alright, so we'll turn it on. We get a message that auto LSO is now on. If you don't turn on the LSO, uh, obviously he won't do anything. Uh, if you do turn him on when you're at the appropriate points, he'll give you the right call out, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. So we'll try to hit the initial point here at 270. Uh, you do need to make sure you fly the right FCLP uh, profile, which can be found on the NEB or on the mission briefing. I think it's slide 3 or 4. So our next checkpoint is to hit the brake, which is going to be right parallel to the uh, simulated ship, which is uh, those four cones over there, and we need to hit Copy that at 800 initial feet. Point. Winds remain light and variable. You are clear to proceed to brake. Okay, so the brake point is marked with green smoke. We're going to overfly that uh, no better than 250 and 800 feet. And I've also added cones to uh, mark your brake uh, turn to the 180 or to the paddles. So if we hit it right, we'll get a call out. And if any time you mess up, you can go back to the initial. As long as the script is on, it'll just reset. All right, and it will tell us that we are at the break point, which it didn't. I think I missed it just a little bit. Not a big deal. So we're going to go ahead and put the gear down, go in the break. We'll get our flaps to the automatic position. And uh, even though we missed our break point overfly, we'll still get a good call out from the virtual LSO if we hit our paddles contact point. The only disadvantage to missing the break point like I did is you don't get the white smoke for paddles contact. No biggie, as long as we follow the... Uh, cones will be okay. I typically go nozzles about 60 here uh, during the uh, 180 and you should be at about 600 feet. Paddles contact. Expect spot 4. Okay. Check water off. Alright, so we got check water off. We're gonna, expecting spot 4. We're going to continue following the turn to final here, which is marked by the cones. Coming down to about 350 feet. I've got nozzle 60. The next nozzle movement will be to the uh, hover stop, which is 81 degrees. We're going to do that probably right before we roll rings level here. I'll keep my speed coming down. Throw the board out, checking gear down, checking water off. We'll put the water in the landing position when we get to... Uh, the uh, ball call or just before it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hover stop and we'll get a reminder to do that from the LSO. Aircraft on approach. Check hover stop. I say again, check hover stop. Cool. Uh, so our next call out is going to be the ball call, so I'll go water on and we'll keep a three quarter mile ball. We want to be at about 150 to 200 feet on the ball call, descending down. Three quarter mile, call the ball. And we'll say 3 8, Harrier ball, 500, water on. 
Roger Ball, continue. All right, so I usually put it about uh, four to five units AOA here. Uh, for me, that usually gets it down to the speed I want, um, but check the Nate ops and make sure you're at the right profile here. That's just what I've been flying by hand lately. So uh, we'll keep the witch hat pretty close to the horizon there just to keep up that speed. Uh, we called the ball, we've got water on, the gear's down, the flaps will now go in the stole position, which is all the way down. And uh, we want to be no lower than 50 feet AGL. When you're flying over water operations, you're at 120 feet, which uh, puts you 50 feet over the deck. So we're going for 50 feet AGL here to simulate being 50 feet above the deck. Our goal right now is to be in a nice stable uh, near hover at the uh, blue X and if we miss that we need to come to a complete hover at the white X. As long as we're stable we'll get a cross early clearance. Uh, to be stable you need to be at maybe 15 knots or less so we're going to shoot for 15 knots. Keep the witch hat up, good 3 or 4 degree AOA. And we'll hold it right at 50 AGO. Stable approach. You're cleared cross early. Okay, so we got a cross clearance. We'll let the Harrier slide on over. I was a little bit aggressive with that uh, transition over the deck. Generally, you want to be more careful. And we're going to let her settle on down. We'll keep the nose level. We don't want to gain airspeed. Keep that witch hat, rather, not the nose. The nose is actually high. We want the witch hat positive right now. I go for about 3 or 4 degrees. I put the brakes on, so as soon as we touch the ground, we arrest and chop as soon as you hit the ground chop the uh, throttle so there you go guys uh, that was a good approach uh, well I mean it was okay I guess uh, we'll taxi to the rearm area and uh, I think that about does it for FCLP version 1.2 uh, once again for the guys who aren't in my squadron uh, learning the Harrier on our 10 or 12 or 14 week tour of the Harrier uh, this is to help train you how to uh, fly a, a naval recovery by the pop proper profile and uh, what I think is going to be kind of fun is to fly this for, you, for, you, for a few weeks and then take on the naval recovery mission without all these reference points and see how we do so I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully this has been helpful for those who are interested all right hook out thanks